What up? And welcome to the beatmajors.net. So today, uh, the tutorial is pretty much going to be on um, basically how to sidechain your 808 bass. Um, if you don't know what sidechaining is, it's basically, um, you know, it, it, when another instrument hits that instrument, the volume drops um, at the same time. That way, giving room for other instruments or other things in your mix to actually, uh, you know, um, stand out, I guess. So I'm fo we're focusing on the 808 today, but you know, you can do other bass and try it out with different instruments just to see how it likes, you know, I mean, to see, <laughs> see how it likes to see how it sounds. So here we already have an 808, um, along with the kick. So, um, let's just find us a good tempo and kind of set it up. We're going to set up just a simple pattern just to kind of show you um, how to do this. So let's just go in here, go to our regular note. So we're going to just set that up. Boom. And so basically, you know, the uh, 808 is hitting where it's where we like it. So if we were creating a beat, that's our 808 pattern. Um, we're going to put the kick on top of it so that, it, you know, it's kind of hitting the same way. So. So now that the kick and the 808 is hitting together, as you can see, it's kind of clashing um, if you don't. Um, hear it now, you will definitely hear it once we sidechain the 808. To sidechain, there are a lot of different plugins that you can achieve this with, um, but you know, to keep it simple, we're just going to use the fruity, fruity Limiter here in FL12. What you want to do is you want to first set it up. So how to set it up is basically you take your kick, whatever sound you want to stand out. So if you had another kick or if you had uh, you know, some type of hard boom or anything, you want that to trigger the 808 to drop when that hits. So you'd go over your kick and with, don't click your 808, you click your kick and then you right click this channel the 80, that the 808 is on and you side chain to this track. Um, you can side chain to this track only, but sometimes, you know, you might have something else that you want to side chain also. So um, side chain to this track specifically. Now you get this little um, you know, like the wires going here, but it's not necessarily on that. It's just kind of, like I said, it's side chaining it. So now we go over to our 808 and we'd add the fruity limiter here, which we've already done. So it's already set up. So what you do is you go to comp, which means compressor. Um, you set your side chain channel to one. And then after you set your side chain channel to one, turn your compressor threshold down here. You just kind of turn that down so that that kind of, as you see, it turns on all those other effects once you turn it down. Cause once it's up, it's not really, it is doing something, but it's not. Um, so you turn that off and that will activate the rest of these knobs here that you saw light up after I moved the knob. So then what you do is your ratio here is all we're gonna focus on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of as the 808 and the kick are playing together, I'm going to mess with the ratio and you're going to kind of see what happens as I turn the ratio up so that um, the bass or the kick is dropping the bass down so that the 808 will have room to sit. So let's try it out. Now I'd say for this type of 808, that's kind of a good setting just because um, it doesn't uh, disappear as much. You can't really notice, you don't notice the, the drop in volume um, 
well, the normal ear wouldn't be able to notice that. But you as an engineer, you as a producer should be able to tell like, OK, that's too much or, you know, that's not enough or, you know. So as you saw, when I turned it all the way up, it really drops it. And then when I turned it down and I found that sweet spot, that sweet area, which is a one two ratio. So at a one two ratio was kind of good um, and it dropped it at a nice amount. Um, so, again, you know, f for side chaining purposes, this just gives your kick um, enough room to hit. And then it, it gives the 808 enough time to drop and come right back in. So as soon as your kick gets done hitting, the 808 jumps right back in just to kind of give that kick a little more room to, to sit in your mix. So this is just a quick tip just to kind of give you guys um you know some some insight on how to kind of how to make your 808s stand out a little bit more in your mix so again right click here on your arrow side chain to this track and you can do this in any fl it's not necessarily just for 12 it's for you know 11 10 9 8 all those you can do the same thing on because they all have these uh um, options for you for each track in every fl so you know again just click your kick and whatever sound you want to side chain, you know, when the kick hits, you just right click side chain to this track. And then, you know, you add that limiter and then, you know, you go here to comp comp settings and you just set your side chain number to one. Turn your threshold down, which activates all those. You turn it down and it activates all your settings, your knobs here that you can mess with. And then you just set your ratio to the point to where, you know, hey, this is a good sweet spot. So hope this helped. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or you want, you know, any more tutorials that you, you know, you need as far as FL, let us know. Thank you for watching again. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, peace.